and you're going to be live now. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Josh Bowie. I'm Vice President of Business Development here at Simulations Plus. Uh, thank you for carving some time out of your busy days to uh, join us at MIDD this year. Uh, as part of my presentation today, I will be walking through a program that we call the, the Concierge Program, uh, which is working with our partner companies to develop, you know, further away from a a uh, transactional relationship where we're, we're partnering just on a project by project or software by software basis to working together at a more strategic level. Uh, I'll, I'll walk you through you know, some basics of the, the, the program itself uh, and why we feel at Simulations Plus that we're positioned really well to, to work at that strategic level and then we'll have some time to answer some questions at the end of the presentation. At Simulations Plus, we understand that every day in drug development is important. Uh, whether you're picking a lead candidate, whether you're working through the preclinical development pieces and, and working through your IND to get to your, your first in human dose, whether you're working through early clinical trials uh, and getting them into human efficacious trials as you go through the different stages of development, we understand that time is incredibly important. Uh, at Simulations Plus, we have the ability to help accelerate that time with all of the modeling and simulation that we offer between our software tools uh, and our consulting services. Uh, whether it is helping you to design your experiments, uh, whether it's helping to get a clinical trial waived, whether it's helping to mitigate a safety risk, uh, we feel that we are well positioned to make sure that we can save time. Uh, when it boils down to it, that, that time savings is going to translate into research dollars. Uh, we, we try not to quantitate the exact savings for drug development programs with the use of our services and tools. Uh, instead, we choose to focus on what's most important to all of us, which is giving the gift of time to patient populations who have unmet needs that we're all working incredibly hard to, to meet. Uh, if we can work together, to speed up that drug development timing, to give the most safe and efficacious treatments to patient populations across the world. Uh, we'll all have done our job really well and we'll give back time to the families of the folks that are, are being treated. Uh, we hope through the process of this, we'll give back time to the people that are important in our lives, our families that, you know, with the, all the hard work that we put in, to develop these, these treatments and these therapies, you know, we, we, we strike that balance of the time that we can dedicate to our careers as well as the time that we can dedicate to the people that are important in our lives. We're also, in many cases, the same patient populations that we're trying to serve. To do this gift of time and to give this back to our scientific community and our families and the patient populations, we developed the concierge program. We have only one ask as part of the concierge program, and that's for you to work with us in a strategic manner and give a little bit of your time to do so. As we understand a communication plan, whether we come together on a monthly basis, whether we come together on a quarterly basis or biannual basis, we'll start to build on our communication together and understand how to open up those lines so that the scientists on your end are, have a direct, life, direct lifeline to the scientists on our end. As we work together more strategically, we'll start the knowledge sharing to understand your programs better. How, what does the next six months for your program look like? What are the key therapeutic areas that you guys are playing in? Where are we developing and enhancing our tools uh, to meet those unmet scientific needs? As we do that knowledge sharing and we work together on ways to partner, that's where the scientific advancement comes. Through building of bespoke models to recognize different mechanisms of action, to working through larger scale collaborations to continue to enhance our software and our, our different mechanism of, of absorption uh, and pathways is gonna be a way for us to work together from an advancement standpoint. As we embed further into your programs, we'll also be able to take a look at your workflows. How do we make sure that you have the state of the art software available to you and how do we work together on those process pieces so that you can do really quality handoffs from drug discovery into your DMPK groups? 
as you get through your, your safety and your efficacy pieces of your preclinical programs and make sure you're handing it off to your ClinFarm colleagues. How do we make sure that we continue to streamline those workflows and communicate together? And that's really where we end up scaling our processes and our workflows together. How do we grow our companies in a way that aligns so that we can inform the next generation of scientists, as well as also make sure that we can make sure that there are unmet needs of our clinical populations in many cases. And that's really the strategic vision of the concierge program itself. We understand that this concierge program is gonna be different depending on who you are uh, in drug development. At Simulations Plus, we have four divisions. Across those four divisions, we have the ability to partner and every year we have been able to partner with 280 clients worldwide. We understand that our clients, every one of them comes at drug development from a different perspective. Take the example of a biotech or a startup company. Biotech and startup companies oftentimes uh, are, are very resource limited from a capacity standpoint. That leads more to the ability to use our consulting services to support those companies so that they can function like a large pharma company with all the translational modeling and simulation needs. For many biotech and startup companies, we also understand that you're gonna be at various levels of funding. Should you have the bandwidth and capacity, we have incubator and startup programs to help find the most budget-friendly way for you to get access to the tools to scale up your organization. We also understand with biotechs and startups that to be able to do the experimental pieces of your programs, you're gonna to have to build a relationship with different CRO, contract research organization, and large CDMOs working through the formulation manufacturing pieces of those. Those are our partners too. We have 20 CROs and CDMOs that are our partner lines across the, or, across the industry who have our software tools. They also are doing the modeling on behalf and we are partnering with them from the scientific value that we can give those partners. If you don't know where to go or where to collect the experimental data that's going into the modeling and simulation that we're doing, let's help be your partner to connect in with those CROs in that space and let's stay connected with our regulatory colleagues to make sure that we can meet the needs and drive those, those outcomes even further. As the biotech goes and, and gets into a place where you get to a research gate, you're gonna get into the interactions with the regulatory authorities. Those are our partners too. The regulatory authorities across the world are training our software tools, and they're also helping to fund the next generation of our platforms uh, with the grant work that we do with them. From that standpoint, we also have many colleagues of ours that have joined from those regulatory authorities that are now part of the Simulations Plus family to help guide your programs on the use of modeling and simulation. As your biotech company starts to grow and your programs advance, you're gonna to need to scale your own organization. That's where our University Plus program comes into place. As part of our 25th year anniversary this year, we put out a uh, free software to the entire industry to be able to, uh, from the university side, to be able to invest back into those programs. Uh, last I heard, there was 115 different universities that have onboarded our software tools in over 36 countries. That means there will be a scientific community of the next generation of scientists that are ready to join your organizations as you move forward and scale up in those organizations. As you grow your organization, you'll become into that mid-sized company with a different set of challenges and a different set of problems. Those mid-sized companies have multiple programs going on and they may need to utilize a combination of our software tools as well as our services to overcome some of the capacity constraints. They may also need to utilize many of the things, many of the scientists that have particular indications or sets of experiences to help drive their programs forward. Mid-sized pharma companies are our partners as well, and we understand those companies very well and how we can help to uh, service their needs. The last piece of it is our large pharma partners. These are the folks that we historically we have worked with on a strategic basis uh, and have worked not only to advance our software tools, but also have become overflow for them from a capacity standpoint, depending on the types of modeling work that they're looking to do. 
While we allow biotechs to function like a large pharma, we also understand that many people within their careers get to a point in large pharma that end up populating those biotech companies. And I'll dramatically understand between our Delisim Services Division, our Lixoff Division, and our Cognitive Division, uh, along with the parent division of Simulations Plus, how we can help them develop their drugs even further. To knock down those barriers and those one-to-one -one connections that you've historically had across all of our divisions, we've developed the concierge program. We feel that we're well positioned to be able to serve the needs of the different partners across the, the industry and make sure that we can find a strategic path forward for each one of these companies that meets your business objectives. We understand that the drug development process is a long and winding road. Whether you're coming through discovery into that preclinical phase, whether you're moving from preclinical to phase one, and then through the different stages of development, we want to make sure that that path becomes a little less windy. Modeling and simulation, as you can see in the bottom panels, is a direct way to bridge those different phases of your particular program. Whether it's software or services, we are set up to find the best solution within those. Whether you're picking lead candidates and doing candidate selection and screening through different compounds, we're set up with our chem informatics colleagues using MF Predictor and AIDD. Whether you're doing that handoff to understand the mechanistic absorption as you get through the preclinical development phases and you want to utilize Gastro Plus as a way to start taking a look at early formulations, a way to do all to translate all of your animal research, and a way to connect into potential safety and pharmacology pieces where our Dillysim services pieces can connect in there. As you get into the different phases of the clinical development, our pharmacometricians at Cognigen, along with our colleagues at Lixoff developing the monolith suite of tools, are gonna help you to not only design the best clinical trials, but also to do the non-compartmental analysis to summarize those clinical PKPD results, as well as the biostats that you need to do to continue to drive those outcomes. As you gather more and more data and understand large populations of data, we'll take that together with our population PKPD to help inform those drug labeling and help you to move through those different phases of development. Overarching to all of this are our regulatory interactions, our teams of colleagues that are ready to help design where modeling and simulation can fit the best path for you and accelerate that pipeline through the development stages. Time is important, the time, is part to, the time to partner is now. Our concierge program is at the center of it. All we ask for is a little bit of your time to start working together, share that knowledge, scale together, advance the science, and build up that strategic partnership that uh, will help us move the, the needle more in the development pieces. Here's our first meeting agenda as we come together for that first concierge meeting. Let's take a look at our current relationship and understand where we are going. What are your current near-term goals and what are gonna be on the horizon for you in 22 and beyond? We will be more transparent with our strategic horizon. Where are we going with the advancement of our tools? What are the learnings that are available? Where are the places that we could potentially partner across our four divisions as you move forward, not just to the next six months, but the next two years and beyond? Finally, what we wanna talk about is what is going to be success for you? Whether that is just getting some time back in your day-to-day -day because we are working together and moving away from something that is more transactional to something that is going to be more of a needle mover for you with your programs as far as getting your drug to market even further. Let's give some time back for your families. Let's accelerate some time within the development of the drug and let's ensure that we get those patient populations the best and safe uh, treatments available. Uh, Arlene, that's what I have for the concierge meeting. I uh, would love to take some Q&A uh, to talk about the, the program a little bit further. Great, well, well, we'll wait for a few people to post their questions into the tab. Uh, I'll go ahead and launch a quick poll. Um, you know, how well do you understand what each division uh, can help with? at Simulations Plus. You should have the poll up now on your screen and you can go ahead and submit your answers. Uh, we'll give you just a few seconds and for those of you who are um, putting your questions 
into the chat tab. We'll get to those in a minute. All right, well, good news, Josh, crystal clear. Uh, most everyone understands about 60% of the different types of modeling that we offer. Um, so let me follow up that poll question with another one. Uh, you know, what's the best frequency for our teams to connect with you? Uh, you can submit your answer and then uh, Josh, I'll put it back to you just to give us some closing thoughts. We are running a little short on time uh, with the session. Thank uh, you. Like quarterly uh, and monthly are, are coming in as the top two choices. So uh, Josh, any last closing thoughts before we close up the session for day one? Uh, thank you so much for the time and attention. Uh, glad to hear that, uh, yeah, that, that cadence of uh, monthly and quarterly, uh, the more frequent connections as a way to make sure that we're meeting each other's uh, best path forward in a strategic manner. So thank you for the time. Thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you, Josh. Thank you to all of our speakers and presenters. And thank you to our audience. Join us back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for the Regulatory Roundtable, Development and Validation of PDDM and Safe Space from the Regulatory Perspective. This is being hosted by our Vice President of Regulatory Affairs, Sandra Suarez Sharp, and do not miss it. All right, thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.